Welcome to Mr. Fisher Flips third grade math. Today's lesson comes from the math expressions math book. We're going to be looking at lesson 7-1, understanding fractions. Our focus is to develop the understanding of unit fractions and how they are used to build other fractions. Let's start out with a problem. Jay has a triangle, a square, and a circle. He wants to make a pattern using each figure. How many different patterns can he make without repeating a figure? So what you have to do is experiment and see how many patterns you can make with the square, the triangle, and the rectangle. So what we can do is we can uh, put these in a different order and see if we can come up with different orders. So in brief, what I did was I found how many patterns I can make, and I can make several patterns starting with the triangle, then I made a couple patterns with the square, and then I made a couple patterns with the circle. So our answer should be at least six different ways to rearrange those so that it does not repeat a figure. So six repeating figures, or six different patterns. Quick practice today, make sure you know your sixes, your sevens, and your eights times tables. Make sure you do it with somebody that you can call your coach, or coach somebody else in how to do them. Our math expressions, today's lesson will be uh, looking at a couple problems that use fractions, and we're gonna be using these fraction strips is what they're called. And so if you see, how many does it take to equal one. If we look, there is, there's the one, but how many of these does it take to equal? It takes two of them. Two halves equals one whole. And we can actually do that with uh, eights. How many are we gonna have? Just by looking at that, how many are we gonna need? We're gonna need eight. Eight green ones to make one whole. I tools today, we're gonna be looking at how, how many of these bars will it take to be able to equal a whole. Well, let's start out with one six, two, three six, and we line those up, and we see that they're, those three six don't quite equal a, a whole, do they? How many do we need to make a whole? Let's get some more out, and let's compare. Six of those squares equals one whole. So to do fractions, we need to be able to understand that one whole can be divided up into parts, and each of those parts, if we look at the one third, how many is it going to take to equal one whole? One, two, three. So we're going to put three more there, line them up, and look at that. Three thirds is the same as six six, or one whole. Okay? They all line up because they are parts, and they were divided equally. Well, let's try a problem. Cut out the equal parts in the whole. What unit fraction of the whole shape is the blue triangle? If we look at the blue triangle, there are one, two parts. But... We also need to figure out how many equal parts are in the whole shape. We see that those two are equal, so we can put one blue triangle is two of the whole shape. And we don't know the fraction yet, so we need to figure out that right now by adding up how many parts there are. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight equal parts in the whole shape. So one blue triangle is two eighths of the whole shape. Well, our last problem before we get to homework is write the unit fractions for the whole. Next shade in three parts, then show the shaded fraction as a sum of the unit fractions. So let's count how many we have first. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six parts. Then we need to shade in. And I'm going to change the color so you can see. One, two, and three. How many parts did we shade? We shaded three out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three out of six, or we can actually see that that is one half. Good. And our answer? Our answer is correct, but we also need to be able to see that it is adding up those fractions. So we should say one six, one six, plus 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 one six, equals a whole. And then the this part is only one six, plus one six, plus one six, or three six. Let's move on to your homework tonight. Your homework will be two pages long, except there will also be a note going home. That note is um, going to explain how fractions work in this unit. And by reading that note, you'll be able to see that there's some things that you already know about fractions, and then there's some other things that you can work on. Let's go to our homework and see that there are a couple problems there that you have to find out the equal parts in the whole shape. And then you have to find out what the shaded triangles are or the shaded parts. 
Notice 4 is pretty much done for you. It writes a sum to represent the total part of the fraction bar that you shaded. Then you write it as one fraction. So you add up all those different parts and then you shade three parts and then you find out how many parts were used. Five and six you have to do the whole thing by yourself. Notice there are five equal parts but you only shade four parts. On remembering, see if you can use a mountain math to figure out these problems. You know the one number and then you have to uh, find the other number to get the total answer, 15. So see if you can use a mountain math, math mountain, to figure out those problems. 3, 4, and 5 is working with the previous chapter, parallelograms. See if you can remember how to do those. And stretch your thinking is a problem solving problem that I'd like you to try. See if you can figure it out. And if you need to, see if you have a granola bar at home that you can actually cut up into those number of parts. This brings us to our end of lesson. Um, remember to tell me when and where do you watch the video. Sum up what you saw. Write one question you might have from watching the video. And fractions are kind of fun. So I'd like you to see if you can't find some things that you can do online that help you understand the fractions a little bit better. That's all I have for tonight. Good night.